So I have a love-hate relationship with Nutella sandwiches. I love them because, I mean, Gray likes them and it keeps him busy and things, but I hate them because Gray gets it all over his face. No, don't touch the camera, you're dirty. I cut him Nutella sandwiches. It's not just Nutella, it's any sandwich. He opens up the breads and then just like licks the insides. He doesn't even eat the bread. And then he gets it all over his water and his milk bottles, like, these aren't bottles, I don't know what they are, sippy cups. Grayson, why are you so dirty? It's not even bath night, we did bath last night. Felix is looking very regal. He likes sitting on this backing for the high chair. What are you doing? Usually he's in that swing right there. So I'm always confused because Gray will say, all done, and then I'll come over here, and then he's still eating. So I'm like, well, you're not all done. You're still eating. I'm going to get out. You're all done? You want to get out? Okay. Okay. Porter is chilling here in the bouncer, although we've had this thing out. I mean, he's been in the sink for well over a month, maybe even two months, and he still does not know how to bounce in it. I'll grab his feet at the bottom and like push him up, and he loves it, but he will not bounce on his own. He just stands there. Also, I wanted to give an update. I know you guys love my potty training updates. So we are officially over a month into potty training now, and I'll just let you guys know how it is. Um, peeing, he barely has any accidents anymore. Um, he is still not at the point of telling me he has to go pee, which is blows my mind. It's been over a month. Come on now. No, I still need to put him on the potty every so often, but he does pee. He's pooped in the potty a handful of times. Most of the time he poops in his pants or in his diaper. It's like I have to hit at the exact right spot. One day, I put him on the potty, he pooped. I was so pumped. Then later that day, he pooped in his pants. So yeah, that was just great. So that stinks. Um, he will pee in other houses. As long as I have the toilet seat, the insert, he will not go pee on the potty if I don't have the insert on it. Um, still no underwear because he's still not telling me that he has to pee or poop. So, I mean, I feel like Rue's really just in, at a standstill. Like, he's not progressing. Come on, dude. So that's our update at a month of potty training now. It's kind of crazy to think we did this over a month ago. Like, it's March. It's March 5th, and we started on February 1st, and Wow, time just went really fast. I'm like, wow, I can't even believe it's been a month. Grayson found this little toy we've had for a long time. It's just a little tool set, and he is <laughs> loving it. Thinks it's so funny. It's so Really, like, this is more of a toy for funny. Porter to play with it's than Grayson, funny. but he thinks it's, it's fun. Funny. It is funny. Good job. Oh, good job. Dry the floor. I've been trying to figure out what I want to get Grayson for his birthday coming up. If you guys have any ideas on what to get a three-year-old for their birthday, leave a comment down below because I am struggling. Um, I want to get him a lot of books because he does like books, but I want to get him like a toy or two to play with and I'm just struggling like what to get him. I kind of want one that'll like keep him entertained for a while. So obviously like not a stuffed animal or anything. He doesn't even like stuffed animals. But like I want like a toy that he could play with that could like keep him entertained for a while. And that just seems to be really hard for me to find. And we also have like a lot of toys that I see on the list too so that doesn't help either. But if you guys have any ideas let me know. I did get in touch with the cake person and they are going to make my cake for me for only like 50 bucks. So I feel like that's a pretty good price and they're they like I said in a different vlog they live in our neighborhood so I'm really pumped about that I could attempt making a cake but it would just be a massive fail um, I did make him a smash cake for his birthday I'll probably make um, Porter a smash cake too when we do a little birthday like on his actual birthday but I'm just not a baker I'm not a decorator like I just don't have the patience and I don't have the creativity for that <laughs> Okay, so like I said earlier, today is March 5th, and Porter turns 
six months and less than 10 days now. And so I just wanted to document his, probably his last time in this swing. He's huge in it, as you can see. He's too big and every time I put him in it, he tries to roll out of and when I buckle him up, he just screams the whole time. It only keeps his attention for maybe a minute or two and then he's over it. He was kind of iffy about this swing, his whole baby head. I'm sure he won't miss it, but it's kind of sad. It needs to go because it's in her dining room. <laughs> and there's our stroller taking up space, but needs to go, especially with uh, Grayson's birthday party coming up. So this is the last time. I'm really just documenting it for my memories, but this is it. Till the next baby. Maybe the next baby will like it some more. Yes, Velcro. Grayson's very interested in the Velcro. Another Velcro. Yes, another Velcro. You like it too, Gray? Oh, you turned it off, Gray. No, no, don't turn it off. Gray like he likes it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who's behind the tree? Oh, peekaboo! <laughs> We're outside this afternoon. Both boys just woke up from naps. This is our pile of mulch that we just have in our backyard. Are you on the mulch? That's so silly. We had plans to like haul this mulch away and we just never got to it. <laughs> I'm trying to wear Gray's energy out before bedtime tonight. I've got Porter. Hi, Ports. My sister got him this little bear outfit. It's actually got a Cincinnati Bengal on it, which Gray is like a tiger. And it keeps him pretty warm. You gonna go down the slide? Ready, set, go! Good job. I'm trying to keep us in the sun because it's cold in the shade. Yeah, open the door. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I just figured I'd pick up the camera and film a little bit of today. We don't have much going on, but it's the weekend. And so I'm hoping um, we'll do some fun things. I don't know. I'm really just hoping it'll get warm <laughs> so that <laughs> we can be outside more and go to parks and stuff. Like I'm just ready for spring and my hair is a mess. <laughs> So sorry about that, that you're having to look at that. Knock, knock. Oh, trick or treat. Trick or treat. Who are you? A ghost. Oh, a ghost. He's still into trick or treat. It's March. Also, also take a look at this. Um, this box is from our uh, pest control guy to catch like mice and stuff. But anyway, this right here. So my back door neighbor, which is this house back here, is our neighbor Jerry. He's a super sweet old man. And one summer, or spring actually, he gave me a bunch of tulip bulbs. And so my sister Alice and I planted them and didn't think much was gonna come out of it. And now look, they're growing. And this is pretty impressive because Anthony and I put down new like tarp and new mold so we didn't know if anything would grow, but they are fighters. We didn't plant the seeds low enough and so a lot of them got dug up and eaten by animals. And so we thought that none of them survived, but I guess some of them did. One. <laughs> He's just talking to himself. <laughs> you gonna kick you gonna kick the ball? Future soccer player right here. I plan on signing him up for soccer in the fall. So we're working on it. This is actually Dakota's soccer ball. I keep forgetting to give it to Allison when she comes over. And I got Gray some apples to munch on. 